hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel we make do look at this beautiful aki but guess what there's no salt fish let's get into making this let's go here i have my akis in this dish and this is what your aki looks like after it has been taken from the pot it has the yellow flesh and it has the seed which is on the top so to remove the seed from the or to get it cleaned we're going to use our thumb and pry it between the seed at the top and the flesh which is the yellow part go ahead open the fruit and then you're going to use either your fingers or a knife to remove the pink inside inside this part of the food is poisonous so you need to ensure that you don't have it left in your food now i have a tiny knife or a small knife that i can use to cut away the remains of the seed that is stuck onto the flesh and wherever else that your fingers aren't able to remove the pink sections from you can go ahead and use your knife to get it all clean after I've cleaned all the ackee, I rinsed it twice and I'm now going to season it with some scallions, thyme, and some salt. And that is all that you would need for now. And some persons would also choose to add pimento, but it's optional. This is what your ackee looks like after it has been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes and bear in mind aki has different varieties some are really soft and some are tougher to test for doneness you should insert your fork into the uppermost section of your aki that is the toughest part so the fork should easily go through remove your seasonings from your aki before draining because it is easier for it to be removed here I have some parsley, scallions, tomatoes, sweet peppers, and some carrots that I'm going to add to my aki mix. To my frying pan, I'm going to go ahead and add some oil. And then I'm going to go ahead and stir fry some carrots just for a minute because they're the toughest. We're going to add our vegetables. Go ahead and stir fry them for another 2 minutes to get them all sweaty and ready for the aki aki. some thyme leaves and a small amount of diced hot peppers that I'm going to throw in the mix. Add some garlic powder, some all-purpose purpose seasoning. And here I have my drained aki that I will be throwing into my sauteed vegetable vegetables. Looks so delicious and smells so good already. already. Use a fold from under technique in which you put the spoon under the food and bring it to the top to get the vegetables mixed in with the, uh, the ackee. It is preferred to use a spoon to stir your ackee to prevent it from breaking apart. However, this is based on your personal preference because some persons love when half their ackee is crumpled and some prefer not to have it being crumpled. So regardless, happy dining!